Hi, Instagram. Hello. Hello, Happy everyone. Happy Catrick's Day. Happy Catrick's Day. It's Happy not Catrick's Day. Catrick's Day. Catrick's Day. Oh my gosh, it's not Saturday. No? Y'all, we have been struggle busing. Mm -hmm. So nobody's here yet, but basically, oh, hey, someone is on Instagram. Hey. Hello. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Gertrude's Day. Patron saint of cats. That's true. Ooh, always getting her thunder stolen. By yep. Hey, Heather. Hey, Heather. Um, so, hey, y'all, we have been AWOL. Am I right? We have been. But let's, wait, let's wait for a few people to jump on because we have to give our apologies to <laughs> some actual people here. We're here to apologize. Here. We're here to apologize. Um, but um, at the same time, a lot of you are probably out like celebrating St. Patrick's Day. This is, Heather's like, I'm not nobody. That's right, baby girl. Uh, yes, no, Heather's here. Hey. We love Heather. Annette. And Annette. Hey, hey Annette. Girl. Happy Are you guys Sunday. chilling like with your pets in on this beautiful St. Patrick's Is it beautiful Day? where you are? Because it is like 72 degrees. It is literally Absolute a, perfection. Yeah. That's why we we're like, Can't let's do our live outside. And that's because, and I think we have enough people here that we can apologize with, yes. with our explanation. It's not an excuse because... There's no real excuse. We shouldn't have it's, excuses. It should not be an excuse. Yeah. However. But, yeah. I don't know. You guys have probably noticed um, that we've been kind of AWOL Hi, this Dana. past week. And hey. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Wendy. You guys are awesome. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Everybody's here. Um, oh, yay. It's gorgeous in Phoenix, too. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just like it went from like really cold to all of a sudden like gorgeous and yeah, beautiful. super cold. Super but um, we've been kind of AWOL this week. I know if you guys follow our cat tips of the day, <laughs> then you knew from last week. week. You knew from last week that we had some um, that we had some water damage in our house. And yeah. what had happened was the water damage started like was when they came to investigate and do the whatever you call it water restoration um they you know had to remove the part of the ceiling and then the walls and then they found out that there was also water under the floors and there's water in basically the entire ceiling and in the master and all of this stuff so they ended up gutting our home yeah so half of our house is down to the studs and the concrete right now yeah and the and everything that was in that half of the house is now in the other half of the house so everything's very disarrayed, if you will. Yeah. It's very strange. It's, it's definitely in Good disarray. news is our babies have found their happy little places. The babies. They're not stressed. Yeah. They're happy. They're loving life. Yeah. We've got all the windows and doors open. Because it's screens. beautiful. So it's a really good time of year yes. for, for this to happen. Um, so Trish. there's a lot of... Hey, Trish. Hello, love. So there's a lot of silver linings behind this, but we do need to apologize because we did not do one single cat tip of the day this week. We just kind of felt, I mean, there's no, we're, we're so blessed. We have a roof over oh our heads. God, our so babies blessed. are still healthy. We're, you know, we, we still have food in our bellies. Like we still have wine. Come oh, on guys. There's nothing to really complain good. about, but we just Everything felt a little going deflated. On in there is first world problems. It definitely first world problems. First world problems. Yeah. And we've been kind of surprised. We really do our best to try to keep everything in perspective and have a positive attitude yeah. and really handle things pragmatically with a, you know, with a good. And in our heads we do. And when what we say we do, but this past week it was just kind of like ah. deflate. Like we just felt yeah. a little defeated, I guess you'd say. We just, um, really just not know. knowing. We still don't know where we're going. We right. have a meeting at 830 in the morning with a insurance adjuster and some roofers and things like that. So we still don't know. We're still sleeping like I'm All sleeping. Over the place. Uh, yeah, I'm wherever we can like, sleep. <laughs> wherever we can find a spot, <laughs> really. In in different places all around the house. Um so so yeah. we're still we're still kind of there, but we're trying to like this weekend was really great. We actually went for a hike yesterday ah, up gorgeous. in the canyon in Red Rock Canyon and um, Calico Basin actually and yeah. it um, we were only gone for like an hour, two hours maybe. But it was just really good. If you guys ever feel like you're just like, like you just bleh, you need to reset. Go out to reset. in nature because it really is. It's Mama rejuvenating. Charlene. Hi, Mama Karen. Mama Charlene. Aww. We're trying to be yes. upbeat and joyful, Mama. That's for sure. Yeah. So, so that's why um, it's not an excuse. There are, oh, they're probably looking for you. Oh, the they are. Sorry, guys. That's really loud. They um, found us. But, um, but yeah, it was, you know, we were just kind of feeling defeated and deflated last week. So instead of like 
complaining about things or just even coming up. We just kind of took the week off. We yeah. didn't take it off. If you guys, those of you that asked us questions, we were still answering questions and things like that. And, you know, doing but, our, doing the regular. But we did start off. We were like, where should we do cat tip of the day? And then it's like, no, this will not work. And then this will not work. And then the cats are in different places. And it doesn't really matter where it we do cat tip of the day. It doesn't. And it, it was just, just, it was just like trying to yeah. like even find a spot to think. Was oh, it was kind of, it was, was a challenge. Difficult Wendy, part, you're yeah. very kind. She said, it's okay. You were taking care of business. Yeah. But our babies are so good Hi, with it. Cindy. And you know what? Honestly, the uh, especially our kittens, but all of our babies have been like really the 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 highlight of like yeah. the the ones that keep us from like just completely like quitting everything, curling up in a ball <laughs> in a in the closet. Well, or true story. Um, so the other night, you guys, if you follow us, you know that Jay has <clears throat> anxiety issues, oh. as it were. So, and, it, and when you're dealing with stuff in a situation like this, it's been a great exercise in perspective. When you're dealing with stuff, it's like life has to go on and it does. And this is totally first world problems going on in here. But everything is not where it should be or was or, you know, it's just very. And when you're and OCD, OCD and have anxiety. Oh, it's been a challenge. So it just kind of culminated the other night to a near panic attack where she she did she started oh, yeah. sweating got white yeah I was, was like, just like oh my god just like what's happening <laughs> was I was overwhelming like I have to lay down or I'm gonna faint and like, here's the thing about cats y'all literally Friday saw me and she followed me immediately when I like went to a mattress on the floor that we have that I sleep on sometimes and I just like <laughs> laid down and she jumped up on me immediately and started purring and was like the Doing like anxiety pill the only anxiety pill I needed it was like immediately I was like so Baby. much better. And everything was everything. She's a lifesaver. Yeah, lifesaver. Wendy, yeah. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Lynette, thank you. And that's it. It's all good, girls. Oh, we love you guys yeah. so much. Yeah, but we're gonna start back tomorrow. We're gonna get some. Get um, back in the yeah, saddle. We're gonna get back you know. in the back in the game. Um, uh -huh. We've got we've got another busy week ahead of us, but we're really we're gonna yeah. get it. Really well, we really it. missed you guys this week is, yeah. is I think the the thing we didn't we were like no it's just not feeling like we just shouldn't like we should just take the time off but then at the end of the week it was like God, there's just something missing and yeah, today it's it was all like we got to see it's our all y'alls yeah we we miss our our peoples you guys are our peoples oh uh, I see people waving on Instagram hello up there I can't read your name sideways I'm trying but hello and happy Hi. Sunday Oh. We love you guys. So, yeah. we're getting back in the saddle. Yep. It's going to be awesome. We Neither one of us are wearing had... green today. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that would have been appropriate. But my eyes are a little green. I don't think that's going to work for me. I'm going to get pinched. The bag's under them. Oh, I'll pinch you. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. Oh, I love pinching her. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> she pinches and gives hematomas, y'all. Like, you do not want to get pinched. Do not want to get pinched. Yeah. Uh, so... Oh, uh, Donna said loving hugs and kisses to your furbies. Hey, Do you hear They're Zorro? To you. Yeah. Yeah, he's talking to you guys. Yeah. Baby. We have the windows open. It's they just like, it. it's just beautiful. But. Um, Hi, Barbara. Hey, Barbara. Hi, Donna. Oh, my God, Yay. you guys. Yeah, so. I hope your Sunday is as gorgeous and peaceful as yeah, ours is. It's, ours. It's, it's just been so cathartic. It's so beautiful. And I don't know if you guys are like me, but the weather really alters my mood. You oh, know what? And so, I mean, it hasn't been bad all week. It's actually been fairly yeah. nice during the day. But um, this but this weekend, when it just turned, it, uh, but I haven't gone outside much this week yeah. either. And this weekend when we came outside and it's like freaking gorgeous and yeah. our babies, I mean, we, ugh, we, we brought um, Friday out on the leash. Uh, Twist is running outside every time we open the door and we're just like letting them play outside a little bit because it's just so nice. And I think it's good to get uh, the earth under them a little bit. So we're going to make um, a catio. We've got to make a catio. Yeah. This whole and thing is going to be a catio. Right. So we're going to have, we don't know what our situation is. So right oh, yeah, now we're we in this limbo advice from you guys. of, you know, half of our house is down to the studs. We've got stuff piled everywhere. We're trying to figure out, we're meeting with insurance and roofers. So we have to get our roof fixed before we can fix the inside. It seems like it's very backwards. Meanwhile, we're just kind of in this weird limbo land yeah. of what are we going to be able to do. But uh, the contractor that we met with said, you know, you guys have got, to, he was accused once of putting a cat in the drywall. I mean, it was a crazy woman and yeah. he's a beautiful man. That did not happen, but he said because of that, 
we would very much like to they make have a sure clause right. to make sure that we that like, all keep of the our cats, cats are out of their working area. Yeah. So, and we've got there are very few places in our home right now that we can actually <clears> close <throat> the door and keep them in there away from all the dust and all the yeah, and you, if you guys know the, and stuff. I think the week before last, I did a hat <laughs> tip on the the dust that is um, that comes from all of this type of construction and things like that. Uh, um, has has actually been linked to hyperthyroidism in cats, so we're super worried. Um, the insurance didn't give us any like allocation of money to go elsewhere, so we're still staying in the house, which we we're kind of we would do anyway, I think, just because we yeah. want the babies to be here. But when they start building, he said dust is going to be like. 10 times like worse than anything that we've seen yet. Um, you said we're going to have to have professional cleaners in, which she is one. I mean, no, but I will professional cleaners in because it'll just everything, the dust will just be everywhere. And yeah. It'll just be, so trying to get our babies into literally two very small rooms that we have left that's not like affected by this. Yeah. Um, is yeah, all five babies in two small rooms. You guys be, know Pooh Bear. We got to get a catio. <laughs> we got to get a catio. And maybe we can just. We've got one of those little habitats. Yeah. Maybe we can it's over there. wrangle a few of them or maybe just the little ones. Yeah. I don't know. They'll probably be doing like their cutting work out here. Yeah. Y'all, so, we don't know yeah. what we're in for. We don't but know what we're doing, but if you guys have back any suggestions, in the saddle, please let us yeah, know. Yeah. Let us know. If you guys have been through something like this. Still go Michigan, Michigan weather. Oh, Michigan went through a crate. They were part of that like polar cyclone or cyclone Hi, bomb Diane. or whatever. It's crazy. Really? I haven't. Yeah. I haven't even turned on television. We've. I've like barely been on social media. I haven't turned on, on television. I don't even know what I've been doing with my life for a week. What you've been doing with I your life? Know. I mean, working with contractors and insurance people and all that it's stuff. And crazy, it's crazy. Busy, but yeah, it's crazy. Just crazy. My kitties really? love their catio. Hey, Vicky. Vicky. Oh. Yeah, we're really excited, Trish. We want to get a catio. Like, we want to build like we our whole patio out. We want to screen mm -hmm. in. We have a, this area that we're in right now is actually a, it's got little slats, but it's kind of, you what know. What do you call it? A pergola. It's a pergola. Like a pergola, yeah. Yeah. So we want to actually screen this whole area in. So we can just let them outside yeah, and like, let them, like come and hang out. And, find little sun Yeah, spots. I think we'll do that this spring. It'll be, it'll be after that. It'll be an adventure. We're going to learn yeah. a lot about construction here in the next couple of weeks, month, however long yeah. this goes on. So as it <laughs> turns out, we may have to do a lot of this work ourselves. Could be. So... That could be exciting. I mean, we love some DIY. You know how we do. <laughs> we do, but our ceilings in our great room, y'all, one of the things that we love about our home when we first, we moved in five years ago, and when we first walked into this house when we were looking at it, it has this beautiful, I mean, beautiful cathedral ceilings when you walk in. Mm -hmm. So it's, they're like 18, 16, 18 foot ceilings. Yeah. We should know because- They're 20 foot ceilings. They go up 20 to 20. Feet. Yeah. At the peak, they're 20 feet. Yeah. So it's this beautiful area, and I keep thinking, yeah, we can learn how to drywall. And I've done some drywall work in the past, but how do you balance a sheet of of drywall on your and back, insulation, climb up a climb ladder, up a twenty foot ladder? It's just and stupid. then it's not gonna happen. I don't know no. if we're qualified no, no, for that's that. That's not gonna happen. We're gonna have to get somebody to do that for us. Yeah. But the flooring, I think we can do, and we have friends that can help us. Trish, if you want to come out. Hey, girl, come um, and do some flooring with us. But we yeah, that grout But going I think on. that's actually the, what really de like deflated me the most. Carolyn! Um, hey, hey Carolyn! Uh, what are you missing? We we're just talking about St. Patrick's Day and how we're sorry for basically ghosting everybody this past this week. Whole week. We've just been. We've just been. But that's one of the things that, that really deflated me was that that room, our great room that she's talking about, is our studio that we just built for our new YouTube show that we've been talking to you guys about. And we filmed one episode and we had everything else set up to film recently. And then it's like, or last weekend and this weekend yeah. we were supposed to. And then literally like the yeah. whole thing is gone. <laughs> we have like no nothing. studio left. <laughs> it's nothing. all gone. And we don't know when it's coming back. Uh, so. Shell asked, she said, I have two pretty cats. I never let them outside because our streets are very busy. Too many dogs around. Keeping them in, does that make them depressed? And will that cause them to die sooner by staying in? Aww. I do keep windows open for them. First of all, know this. Outdoor cats have a much, much shorter lifespan than indoor cats. Yes. So you are doing the right thing, baby girl. Yep. The only thing that you want to do when you do have cats, because all of our cats do not get lit outside. And we haven't had a catio yet. So they're all indoor cats. Yeah. Well, um, we let them out in the backyard or on a harness, on a harness. right? Um, or or just to like twist our older yeah. cats. They're not going to run away, so we'll just like let, let them, them out, out and walk, browse the yeah, grass walk a little around. Bit. Um, but so it is good for them to have access to outdoors, but only supervised. supervised. Yeah, yeah, and not like oh, I'm going to go out here and watch you because 
uh, twist twist would be the one that would just be like, oh, look, I'm checking out the grass here, and then whoop, he's off. So you want to you want to make sure that if you are going to let them out loose, not on a harness or not in a confined area, that they do have all of their um, they have a collar, they have got all that jazz, yeah, all that all that stuff. Yeah, just but make the other sure thing too is just look at the ways that you can enhance the indoors, leaving the windows open. Awesome. They actually have Shelly. They actually have these like cool things. You can look at them. Just look up like um, window catios or something like that, where you can connect a a, a small like catio thing to the outside of your window and have it open to yeah. where your cat can go out into this little catio is not is not can't necessarily access the earth but um is able to be outside with being completely protected and then you don't have to necessarily be there um for it either oh uh vicky said microchip too if they're not microchipped um hold on i feel like i just missed some yeah did too vivian said i sent Yes, an email about one of my kitty's ears yesterday. I hope you can help. Oh, okay, oh, Vivian, good. I get to our um, our emails. Um, you could just ask us here if you want, but I get to our emails um, Monday morning. We do have an appointment with all these uh, construction workers, roofers, and insurance agencies or whatever so tomorrow morning, so it might be a little bit later, like afternoon-ish. Um, but I do check our emails on Monday morning, usually. Yeah, girl, or you can just ask here. Yeah, or you can just ask here. They said rent your- a lift. Where did you get the night cat shirt? Okay, so this is from uh, Arm right. the Animals. Arm the Animals. They have really so cool. many cool. And it's super comfy. Oh my like, god, it's, it's the so best t-shirt. Comfy. Yeah. And they were and they were so super sweet, and they even gave us a coupon, which we need to use to oh, get yeah. more to get more. Even, they have great prices. You don't even need a coupon. They, yeah, and they yeah. run sales all the time, and all their stuff goes to help uh, rescue. Yeah, shelters. find them on Facebook. Follow them yeah. on Facebook. Arm and the animals. Instagram. You'll see all, all all kinds of shirts. I'm so excited for CatCon this year. Oh my god, y'all! They were there last year. I'm sure they're going to be there again this year, and we are going to. I'm going to go to them before they even open. So because last time we went at oh, the Cindy. very last minute when we were breaking down everything for the for the trade show, and they were next to us, but we were just too busy to like communicate. <laughs> so yeah, it was busy. It was the end, and they only had like three shirts left. And so we were like, okay, next year we, we go. We're going to go and get stocked before, During off. setup. Okay, yeah. Cindy said, hey, I Nate. have a kitty. Nate, hi. Hey, um, uh, Shelly, uh, Carolyn, in the note, she put, just posted a, uh, one of the- Oh, window kitty. Window, window purchase. purchase. Window perches. Perches. Perch is. Yeah. Um, Cindy said, I have a kitty that is nervous, that is so nervous he pulls his hair out. Doctor can't figure out what to do for him. Have you ever seen this? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's um, a lot of times, sometimes it, did, did your vet recommend or, or suggest that it might be like OCD? Sometimes if it's, if they've, <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of reasons that cats will excessively bite and chew. Mm-hmm. Um, stress is always a part of, of whatever it is. Sometimes it's solely that, which would be more OCD related. There's a lot of things you can do. You look up Marcy Kosky feline behavior She's solutions. She's invaluable. Um, she has a lot of good information. Some calming formulas really help with that with yeah. a bunch of our customers that have that. If it's just, if it's OCD, um, and then, uh, like, like constant confidence building, yeah. which is, you know, making sure that you spend time one-on-one with that cat, um, like playing, and, and if you have multiple cats, take them in a separate room and do it on their own. It really helps to build their confidence. So, so and, and yeah, then, yeah, just a lot of stimulation is really important for, yeah. um, for cats like that, too. We have that issue with <clears throat> Uber, and he's still, we still struggle with him getting a bald spot on one of his arms that he loves to nibble on. Yeah. And, and it really is, sorry, we have more. Airplanes. We've got like an air show going on over here. Uh, but, but grooming is so soothing to cats, so when we see it excessively, that's, you know, where they're starting to pull their hair out. It can be because something is stressing them out um, that they just, you know, they just get into this habit and it's, a, and it's something you kind of have to break them up mm-hmm. or distract them from. So it's good to be looking at different ways that you can enrich their environment, give them something else to do is what we do with Pooh Bear. And exactly like Jay said, it's been a game changer with him. You know, we have five, five kitties. They love to play except for Pooh Bear. And Dr. Kosky said, if you have a cat that says that basically just kind of, moves when it's when you have the bird out or the laser <clears throat> when you're playing with them she was like it's a lie that cats don't want to play this is one of their most uh incredible instincts she, so she said that he takes steroids um as well oh. and antibiotics okay so um the, the other thing i was going to say is we want to rule out things like um flea allergy dermatitis and and um things like that or or even feline hypersthesia um these are all things that can also cause excessive grooming 
He actually so, draws blood. Um, oh, goodness. Okay, so, but Cindy, hey, Max. Um, hey, Max. I know it's a beautiful day, isn't it? He's here in Vegas. Um, oh. So, Cindy, you said he takes steroids and antibiotics. Does steroids and antibiotics actually help? That's a good question. Because you if, know, like I, I asked a very good I question. I asked a very good question right then. <laughs> um, because if so, then we're also dealing with an inflammation issue. And I would almost say look up, actually do look up. You can go mm. on our website. We have um, a lot of information about feline hyperesthesia, which is going to be difficult for you to spell. So it's H-Y-P-E-R-E-S-T-H-E-S-I-A. You're not going to wow. remember that. I know. Because it's hyper. And then if you take the R, it's rest. And then it's a V. And then it's a Sia. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hyperstasia. That's how I remember it. Anyway, um, or FHS in cats. You can look it up in, um, and it'll give you some good information. You yeah. might be able to see if, if there's like a rolling skin or twitchy skin too, then you are, we deal with a lot, a lot, a lot of cases of feline hyperesthesia. It seems to be one of those things. It's an idiopathic um, syndrome. And, um, which just means that they don't know what causes it, which is right. why your your veterinarian would be would have a hard time diagnosing it. You're right. They don't know what's causing it. It's not like it's oh well, this is why. Yeah. So, so all you can really do is kind of treat symptoms. But fe what we're finding is that yeah. feline hyperesthesia. She said steroids do sometimes, but not often. We're doing a biopsy. Oh goodness! It's good to do the biopsy. Yeah. I mean, just to start rolling it out. But but you'll find that with steroids as well, steroid treatments, it's it will seem a very effective at first, mm -hmm. and then it stops working yeah. because you're really stripping or your the system vet won't, from. Won't allow your cat to be on steroids for an extended period of time because it's really bad for them. It, it kind of kills their immune system. So, yeah. you know what, Cindy? Um, send us a private message, and we can you know go through all of this step by step. Yeah. Um, cause there are a lot, there's also, um, systemic yeast that, um, we're dealing with a few yeah, cases a that can also cause this, um, and that would also be helped for a time being with antibiotics and steroids. But, um, the majority of all of these, if you treat them naturally, it actually works better and right. long-term. So you can, you can get to the root of it versus, right. you know, continually masking symptoms and, and still, you know, uh, you know, killing all the bacteria, all the good bacteria in the gut with antibiotics or really weakening the immune system and, and overall, you know, organs and health with steroids. So, oh my God, Carolyn is so on it. Carolyn just posted the link that Jay was spelling. She is, yeah. Okay. So Carolyn you are is our official, star. In, in this live, she's our official, official rock star. She's, she's posted links for everything that we've talked about with Marcy Kosky, Kosky you and Behavior are Solutions incredible. Arm the Animals. Mm -hmm. Just go back wow. and look at the link. You're hired. Facebook. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> yes. Yes, please. Um, wow. Yeah. You know how so, long it takes me to look stuff up? Jay's like, she'll just take my phone. If I'm trying to post a comment or answer somebody, I'm like, oh, I'll put this link in there. <laughs> she'll just take my phone and do it because I, I struggle. So we'll take 15, Carolyn, you are minutes. amazing. It takes me a long time. Carolyn. I'm not very good. We're right there. Yeah. <clears throat> Cindy, say, well, thanks, Carolyn. Yeah. 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 Carolyn's the best. And Cindy, keep in touch with us and let us know. I mean, yeah. there's, it's a, it's one of those things where, you know, you want to kind of, there's going to be questions along the way and it's going to be a thing. Yeah. There's a lot more. Oh, I had, I had a cat, cat with feeling asthma. Had to give him breathing treatments for many years. Let folks know how bad scented litters, cleaners, mm -hmm. sprays, and smoke is for cats, please. Yes. More common actually, than people realize. And, we, yes. Mother Cindy, this is, yeah, very true. So we actually talk about this all the time. Um, and it, al allergies and asthma, the number one leading cause of these, um, or I think it's a, one of the leading causes of these diseases in our cats is so she, yeah. all of what you're saying. The, the indoor um, the cleaners, plug -ins, the, the cleaners, the sprays, the aerosol um, sprays for um, and dusty scented litter, um, which is also linked to uh, kidney disease, actually, and um, and smoke, of course, yeah, secondhand smoke or, or even Dr. fireplace smoke. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Karen Becker even talked about thirdhand smoke, which we had no idea about. But it's when never heard of it. You know, uh, <laughs> like, is there thirdhand? Right, like people, some people do smoke in their home, and that's really not good for their cats or them or their home by the way. Not good for your wallet. Um, however, uh, third hand smoke is say you have friends over and they go outside to enjoy a smoke and they come in and then your cats are loving on them 
everything that's on their hands and, and their, their shirts hair. And their uh, Dr. Becker was actually explaining how that is even more toxic in a way. It contains more toxins because it's literally the, the residue on their fingers. They're hands, not just breathing clothes, it in. They're right. actually smoking that cigarette with you. Right. Yeah. So it's very fascinating. And, and to be honest, this is something that comes from a place of, because uh, we had a cat with um, feline asthma, and it was difficult. And every time that he would have an attack, we would kind of panic. And we would try to treat it with different things. But we were using like the world's best floor cleaners and you know Febreze and all of this mm -hmm. stuff, and never once thought even about thought about that. it. No, so it's, it's yeah, it's very interesting. I mean, especially those of us with multiple cat cat homes, right? You don't you want to be able to still have people over and you know make sure that it doesn't you don't smell well, it but you want to make sure that it doesn't smell like a cat right. home necessarily so the plugins we used all the time we had well, no we really idea we had a cat with asthma we had a cat with allergies right. we had no idea that any of that was like even contributing to it oh yeah that was a it was a bug Oh, I was just was gently like... persuading him to move elsewhere. <laughs> you guys couldn't see it, but it was there, I promise. <laughs> they could so, see you uh, doing this. Uh, but one thing, too, you know, you think about it, and we do. <clears throat> sometimes we, we will feel self-conscious, especially when Pooh Bear was marking. Yeah. Right? It's like, oh, you feel self-conscious by having people over because you'll walk into a room and be like, oh, my God, I think I still smell it, you know? No, don't Febreze it. Don't whatever. And I would also say that so having many safe the right litter. Cindy, you're exactly right. Having the right litter. Uh, we use pine pellets. Mm -hmm. And when Pooh Bear had an issue, we started using Catatrack, which is not dustless, but and it did not help. Our favorite, but no, not our favorite. we always use that in transition because right. it works. Oh, it works fantastic. It works. It gets him, get him back. back. We get him a new box the... and we get him at Catatrack right. and he starts going in there. And then we transition back to our pine pellets Right. And he's fine. But because this issue is really so important, I love that you brought it up, Cindy. <clears throat> I would say another huge tip from Dr. Marcy Kosky is she said there's actually not a single litter box on the market that I can recommend to any cat parent anywhere. What she does recommend are storage bins. So we've got, we went out and got storage bins when uh, Pooper started marking yeah, recently. Just the big storage bins? Big storage bins. Put the litter, cut out a little door They're for them. They're so much cheaper. You can get a storage bin for much ten more bucks, nine ninety seven from Lowe's, y'all. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Uh, whereas, because he is a big cat, we wanted to get him a big litter box. We got one of those big quarter units, the biggest one we could. It cost like forty bucks. It cost thirty nine dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go and get a. The air show continues. Go and get a storage bin, and then Delicate. start getting the. <laughs> getting the litter, uh, and then that really completely yeah. mitigates any reason to have sprays, yeah. plugins, that sort of thing. It's yep. just uh, yep. There's, yeah, fantastic solution. Well, so and I mean, I've got to do a shout out real quick for um, feeding a, a raw food diet. When you feed a species appropriate fresh food diet, the, the, the urine and the um, feces of your cat, the poop, is... Um, <laughs> so much so much better it, it's basically it doesn't it doesn't what seem it so even much better i was reading raw comments. feeding feeding a oh, fresh food yes. diet um our our oh my gosh is they like poop a, like once a day yeah little turds and sometimes, even even sometimes, sometimes they'll she, be a little stinky it, it, well sure it's poop but still <laughs> like she um there's there's sometimes our, our poo bear again our problematic kitty um or just high maintenance he's not problematic um i'm i know you can hear me i love you um but he, um, if she doesn't clean the litter at the same, like she, she uh, cleans the if litter I in the morning. In. If she sleeps in and doesn't clean the litter in the morning, or she will clean it in the morning, but when she gets out of bed, which is sometimes right. closer to afternoon, if she's sleeping in. Wow. <laughs> I slept in till 930 <laughs> yesterday, Which is close to afternoon. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, if, it, you know, I've already fed him and she isn't up to clean the litter, he will literally go and poop in front of our front door. Yeah. You know, like back in the day, that would have just been like the grossest thing ever. But those turds are so strong and hard and not smelly. And you're just like, okay, let me just they pick that up. Turds. And Trish would like to know where she can find Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn, yeah. post a link. <laughs> <laughs> Trish, where can, or Carolyn, where can we find another you? Oh my God, Uller is here. Uller. Oh my God, I love you so much. I, we miss FYI, you. you guys cannot come back to Vegas without looking us up because we got to do a wine night. Yeah, Just Dana saying, said that she changed the storage bins a, a couple years ago and made a huge difference. Thing. It's true. 
It is the best thing, y'all. I just, I, another thing, it's like so simple that makes our cats lives, and they do. Dr. Kowski says, it's like they're, a, a litter box for your cat to be able to use it should be a length and a half of their body. So not including their, their tail, from the tip of the nose, their little butt, their little fuzzy butt. Yeah. However long that. it is, plus another half, that's how big the litter box should be. And they don't even make litter boxes, and in, for our cats at least, they no. don't even make litter boxes that. We got some, we got a Maine Coon, we've got Pooh Bear who's huge very large right like the litter boxes i can see that the kittens are comfortable in the big box and they even use their we got like a a litter tray that was probably about this big when they were teeny. when they were this big <laughs> right and they still use that so it's not like they can't use it but it's oh my god storage bins are so much better dana said yes. love my raw fed turds never thought i would say that <laughs> Right, Dana, but it's so awesome. It's like it. Oh makes my you God, they're coming in April. Understand why people talk and talk about. <gasps> oh yay! Oh my oh, gosh, how okay. exciting! You have to hit us up, yeah, Sander. We're gonna hang out in April. D D DM us the the dates, yep. baby. It's it's happening. It's going down. Yep, her birthday, little P. Barbara said, "I sleep until nine thirty all the time. Rock on." <laughs> oh, closer to afternoon. Don't have to hit me. <laughs> Me a, this is just because she loves to wake up at five o'clock in the morning with like bells on. It's just I like, am a Will morning you please person. Go away. I am definitely a morning person. <laughs> I feel the happiest when I first wake up. Usually. Chris said, Can I come for wine night? I'm having Chardonnay right now. Yes, cheers. Absolutely. Chris, cheers. I toast you too, but we're sharing a glass tonight. We think we think it helps us drink in moderation. Yeah, but then we get the bottle well, we right next to it. Out. Which this is a new one we haven't tried before. It's called Shreep, Sheep. Thrills. <laughs> it's a twist top too. Yeah, we only got so it. We don't because, even have to go find our because of the name and because it's made in Italy and because it was a twist top. Super like, Zoo like, 2019. Win, win. I think it was we 19 pounds wait. when I took him to the vet last summer. Wow, big 19. baby. Yeah, Finnegan. we've got one. We've got I one that was that, name. that was Wendy. He, he was 25 pounds, and yeah. now he's down to 17. Um, I should weigh him again sometime. Yeah, it's been a hot because I've seen I've seen him like Hoover the rest of. The kids' food. Yeah, that <laughs> happens. It he happens. Loves it. But it's all rough. And Paula. Paula. Hey, girl. Our the girls are here. Darby, soon. Vicky, Paula. Uh, I have a Norwegian cat forest phrase. cat, so I understand what you're saying about litter boxes being big enough. Oh my god. Wow. Large yeah. Or late. But I think you. I think Lent. you mean large. Yes. Lent. Yeah. It's so true. Norwegian forest cats are so spectacular. Oh my god. Yep. Just yep. Extraordinary. Um oh, Xander said Xander <laughs> You said um and she leaned, did she not? <laughs> it kinda Cause that's how it happens. It is. Do you smell a fart now? No, I smell something funny though. Oh my god, yeah, like mushrooms. It does smell like mushrooms. Like fresh fungi. You know what I'm saying? Mm, maybe we're just hungry. We're having mushrooms on the grill tonight, guys. Yeah, we are. Um, Xander is bringing cat phrase. And I'm wondering if that's catchphrase oh or my cat gosh. phrase. Because if it's cat phrase, okay. If they made something called cat phrase, they probably I do. There's all kinds of. I will lose my mind. I will lose my mind. Oh, my God. Oh, Wendy said her baby will be 13 in October. Oh, happy birthday. October is a great birthday in October, month. too. Yes. Great month oh for birthdays. Goodness. Guys, I love Sundays because you can wear like whatever clothes you want. My my clothes are falling apart. This the just like the comfiest shirt. Just on Sundays. It you actually can you can see you I guess I can wear it any day, but if it, you can see it, it's like pink. It wasn't when we got it, it was white. And, and then, then she I washed Adrian it. do the laundry. I, yeah, oh that's right. You did yeah. that. Yeah. I let her do laundry once. But and who so has she washed bright... it with the colors in it. Right. So I was in the whites and you put the red the bright red socks in the whites. I would never do something like that, nor would I ever wear bright white red socks. You did the laundry. Right, but I didn't see them because they were already <laughs> in the basket. Well, yeah. We have some unresolved issues about that. Anyway, it looks kind of Yes, pink, yes, though. Cindy. I stuff, mu we stuff mushrooms. Mm -hmm. We put like, for easy, we put either salsa or pico de gallo in, and then we top it with Smooth the cheese. Little, little um, cheese. But today we got, we got some pico de gallo. We're going to do a few of them. And then um, also got like the- Like a veggie mix. Cut, like a veggie mix. So like cut up onions and peppers, and we put that in. Um, we actually went to and out to eat yesterday. Last night when we came back down from the mountain from hiking, oh, and yeah. um, oh, we got 
We got some awesome. I'm going to try this, I think, with one of them. We got some awesome Brussels sprouts and Jim mushrooms. Here. Hey, Jim. Hey, handsome. I love you. Hi. Um, and we're going to stuff our mushrooms with that as well. Uh, Wendy has the I'm coolest names. About. Jackson and Finnegan. Oh, my God. I love Jackson's things. a little brother. He'll be five in May. How cute. What time is dinner? I know. We're not right sure. After, right after we get off here, I think, is when we should. It's on the counter. Oh, I took it off for dishes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to fire up the grill when we get off. Yep. <clears throat> it's kind of funny because we can't find anything these days. <laughs> I'm telling you, for somebody that is so OCD like me, Hot mess. This, this mess in our house is like driving me nuts. And yet, at the same time, it's like I can't do anything about it. So it's like. Okay, we'll live out of laundry baskets so I can still do the laundry, but we, I don't have anywhere to like hang everything out. I mean, I do, there's standing space, but it's just like 10 times harder to do everything. So it's, yeah, she like every morning before she heads out the door, she's like, where's my wallet? Where's my keys? Where's like, my we don't have, stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Been, I left, I left the other morning without my wallet. And yes, I, I have a wallet, you guys. I can't bring myself everybody has to have a, a wallet. Purse. I have a wallet, even though I have a purse. I don't have oh. a purse. I have a satchel. Yeah, but if you have a purse and you forget your purse, you don't just forget the wallet in the purse because the wallet lives in the purse. I used to, before I, before I carried a, a satchel, not a purse, um, I always had a wallet that I carried in my hand, not my pocket. I didn't have a pocket that big. I had a big wallet. I like big wallets. They're fun. <laughs> Are we getting off topic? Yeah, now? I think so. A little bit. I little live bit. in the land of Brussels sprouts. Ooh, oh, Chris. really? Oh. Lucky. I would love to live in a land of Brussels sprouts. Um, Xander wants to know, what's a cat's favorite color? The color of your eyes, Xander. It is you. That's right. Yes. Uh, cats see color differently than we do, yeah. FYI. Well, uh, apparently a... we see color differently from each other as well. Oh, that's so true. Yeah. I think everybody sees, <laughs> I'd love to like be able to see, like see You guys know the thing about like the blue sometimes? and the gold dress or the black and the blue dress or whatever? Yeah. We cannot see. And we'll have suitcases. I'll be like, gold, I'm going to pack this suitcase. I'm going to black white pack and gold. the gray one. White and gold. Black and blue. I totally saw white and gold. I still see white and gold Never, every time. I still and can't see like, white And she's like, it's totally gold. black and blue. I'm like, what? Yeah. And we have shirts. I have shirts all the time. It's like clearly gray. And she's like, you want to wear that green shirt? Oh, my I'm God. Like, oh my Xander God. was making a joke. What is a cat's favorite color? Purple. <laughs> I love and miss That's you a good so one. much. Purple. I'm going to oh remember Oh, my God. That we should start our, start our YouTube show with that. Thanks. What's the cat's favorite color? Darby hates carrying purses, Compliment. too. She only handles a wallet. What? Oh, yay, Darby. I tried. There's a funny story about the one time that I tried to get a purse because I was going to be in a situation where I had to wear, oh like, formal clothes. You can go on YouTube and y'all, see that. Y'all know this about me. I, I'm a comfort it's girl. Called it's called the Black Snatch story. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I'm tell. dumb. Go ahead and tell. I'm Just dumb. do it fast. I'm gonna do it really quick. I had yeah. to go to like this formal to event, so I had to wear girls' pants, and I could do an entire She's live speaking. on girls' pants because they do not give you pockets. What is the point? They give you like little slits that you can barely fit a chapstick in, and I need to have my chapstick with me. <laughs> I digress. I digress. So I'm going to this formal thing, and I'm gonna have to have my wallet and my chapstick and a pen, um, and tweezers. Oh, I always bring my tweezers everywhere. It's it's the world's best MacGyver tool. It is. I could do it's another true. whole live on. I once saved an entire boat of people from being wineless because I had my tweezers. Mm -hmm. Another story, another day. But I go to this very formal event. I had gone out and I was wearing this great, it was a suit, but it was a lady suit. And I'm wearing this beautiful outfit. And I have, I had to get a little, one of, you know, like girls get like, not the big kitchen sink thing, y'all. I just had needed my wallet, chapstick, tweezers and pen in this little thing. So I have my little thing that I'm carrying around and when I get to it's this baby event, purse. we had to put all of our stuff down. There's yeah, a, a little baby name purse. for it. It's called right, Clutch. so we get to the end of the evening and the place that we had put all our stuff had moved. So I am going like, where is? What she thought, she thought because she's, it's a snatch and go, like you just snatch it you and then you snatch go. this little it's purse. Called it's called a clutch. A it's called a clutch, guys. It, right, it's a, but it's I a didn't know purse. that. So I'm it's walking around asking everybody at this very formal event, have you seen my black snatch? <laughs> it's a true have story. Have you seen my black snatch? Have you seen my black snatch? Like, what would you do if somebody walked up to you and said, Yo. have you seen my black snatch? And I literally had people like, that people like, just, looked, like, looked at, at me her? and said, I'm sorry. And I was like, my, my little... Black snatch. We had left it and I'm trying to explain and they literally would just turn around and walk away. And I'm like, 
Why are people ignoring me? <laughs> Why is everyone being so rude about this? I don't understand. I lost my little purse. Oh my God, y'all. It was, it was a thing. <laughs> yep, yep. So, that's the black so anyway, it was her sister. I'm, coming, I'm telling the story of her sister. And I was like, I don't understand why people were so offended. And she said, no, honey, this is your snatch. She's like, this, this is, is your a clutch. Snatch. This is a clutch. <laughs> that's what I get for wearing comfortable that's, pants. and. It's true. Nate said, bring back the fanny pack. <laughs> you know what at least that's easy to say you're never gonna mess that up everyone knows what a fanny pack is i couldn't mess that up if i tried yeah okay wait wait wait. april 17th to the 21st got it yes sir oh my god they're Yay. barbecuing that's what oh, it is oh yeah it started oh they were just burning before they actually put food on that's what we smelled <laughs> trish is laughing trish i knew you'd get it i still feel bad about telling the story because i feel like it is like slightly offensive <laughs> like it's a black shiny snatch oh look carolyn posted the link to the black snatch story oh my god <laughs> you are awesome How carolyn you did are you honest. even know that she is a fast searcher because i said it crazy you said it <laughs> i said yeah we have a youtube video of the black snatch story oh my god. Nuts, nuts. All right. She can't gonna, take me anywhere. We're gonna I let just... you guys we're gonna let you guys go and enjoy a beautiful uh, St. Patrick's Day evening. Yeah, um drink some green beer or some red wine. Uh, or and thank you Chardonnay. for joining us, you guys. This is just Yeah, and again, we're really sorry for ghosting everybody this week. We yeah. um you know, we kinda just needed we didn't take vacation, but we <laughs> kinda just needed to like decompress a little bit decompress. um That's and yeah kind of just step back yeah. and, and but we'll be back no, we'll be back this yeah. week it's gonna be it's yep. gonna be fantastic we'll be back you get to go through a mess with us <laughs> than asking if you clutched my, my <laughs> <laughs> cindy you're hilarious okay stay with us stay with us on this yeah <laughs> oh you're <laughs> you're a new favorite better than oh, asking if you clutched wow. my black snaps. that's hilarious Oh, you guys, I love you I'm so much. Sneeze. Okay, we love you. <laughs> love you, Insta, Happy love Saint you, Facebook. <laughs> God bless you. I said I was going to sneeze. Okay. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Love oh, you guys. We love you guys. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Better than